हेलो स्टूडेंट्स साइराम लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर टेन मेन्सुरेशन लेट्स सी वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टूडे चिल्ड्रन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज एरिया हाउ टू फाइंड आउट एरिया बाय काउंटिंग स्क्वायर्स एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ए बी एंड सी एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द होम असाइनमेंट फॉर यू टू डू आफ्टर द क्लास सो लेट्स recall what is perimeter children we have learned that perimeter is the distance covered along the boundary of a closed figure isn't it and we have also learned how to uh, find out the perimeter of a square rectangle of a an, of an equilateral triangle or a regular uh, pentagon hexagon etc now we will proceed with the concept of area so what is area students you can see that these figures like these circles or rectangles or stars or these figures they occupy some region on a flat surface isn't it so the region enclosed by these figures gives their area we can see that this circle has greater area than this circle isn't it so what is area area is the amount of sur uh, surface enclosed by a closed figure let's see a few more examples surface inside a closed figure is called its area so here we can see that the blue portion enclosed by these figures gives their area now how do we find the area let's consider finding out the area on a squared paper like this children in this squared paper we will make a rectangle like shown in the figure isn't it this is a rectangle children it's very important to understand this to find the area of this rectangle we count the number of the squares that is enclosed by this rectangle we can see the number of squares enclosed by this rectangle is 15 isn't it so what will be the area area will be 15 square units so the area of this rectangle is equal to the number of squares enclosed by the rectangle and it is given as 15 square units because it covers 16 squares now when we say 15 square units what does it mean what is the meaning of square units unit means the size of the square how much does the uh, the square measure and it you, it can be in millimeters centimeters meters or kilometers like we can say that the square unit ca it can be centimeter into centimeter or centimeter square it can be millimeter or uh, meter into meter or meter square or kilometer into kilometer that means kilometer square these are squared it's very important to remember this now how do we calculate area by counting squares children these points are very important you have to remember them or you note down in your notebook how to calculate the area by counting squares you have to follow certain rules for this if the area is less than half square then we have to ignore it okay we will ignore it take it as zero if the area is more than half square then we calculate it as one square unit and if the area is exactly half square then we will take it as half square unit the area of one full square is taken as one square unit okay if it is a centimeter square sheet then the area of one square uh, full square will be one square centimeter if it is in meters then it will be one square meter let's look at this example and understand uh, these points let's find the area of this circle by counting squares let's see how we 
do it children please pay attention for this and see how we fill this table and find out the area you can see in this circle fully filled squares are four isn't it there are four squares which are fully filled what are they one two three and four these are fully filled so it is four square units one into four four square units now you can see that how many half square half filled squares are there they are also four where are the half square half filled squares they are here one two three and four they are half filled squares that means half multiplied by four it is two it gives two square units and then more than half filled squares where are they they are eight one two three four five six seven and eight eight are more than half filled so it is we will consider one for one square unit for more than half filled uh, squares so it is 1 into 8 eight square units and less than half filled squares how many we have we have zero so what will be the area of this circle it will be 4 plus 8 plus 2 that means 14 square units is the area of this circle now let's consider one more example find the area of the shape shown in the figure now children you can see the fully occupied circ, uh, squares are 1 2 and 3 isn't it fully enclosed squares by this figure they are 3 and how many half squares half filled squares are there they are 1 2 and 3 based on this we will find the area of this figure now we have fully uh, filled squares 3 that means 3 square units and how many half filled squares are there 3 that means half into 3 that is 3 by 2 3 3 uh, upon 2 and more than half filled squares we have no we don't have so it is zero and less than half filled squares also zero so what will be the area of this figure it will be 3 into 1 plus 3 into half that means 3 plus 3 upon 2 and it becomes 6 plus 3 upon 2 that means 9 upon 2 so the area of this figure will be 4.5 square units or 4 and half square units so this is how we find the area of the figures by counting the squares so problem number a of exercise 10.2 so let's look at this figure how many squares does this figure enclose we can see that we have nine fully filled squares that means nine squares full squares are covered by this figure that means it is 1 multiplied by 9 that means 9 square units and do we have any half filled figures uh, squares no so it is zero and do we have more than half filled squares no that is also zero and less than half filled squares no we don't have so we have only nine fully filled squares enclosed by this figures this figure so what will be the uh, area of this figure it will be 9 square units so you have to note it down in your notebook so we have 9 full squares means area is 9 square units and we have to mention the unit like if it is in uh, centimeters then it will be 9 centimeter square or it will be 9 square centimeters that we have to mention then let's look at this figure b question b here also we have a figure which encloses five full squares so fully filled squares are five 
that means it is 1 multiplied by 5, 5 square units. And do we have half filled squares here? No, it is 0. And more than half filled squares, that is also 0. And less than half filled squares, that is also 0. So what will be the area of this figure? Let's find out. We have 5 full squares. That means the area will be 5 multiplied by 1. 5 square units will be the area of this figure. If it is centimeters or meters or kilometers, we have to mention the unit of the area. Like it can be written as 5 square centimeters or you can also write like this 5 centimeter square. Then question number C, we have a figure and we have to look uh, how many uh, full squares this encloses and how many half squares this figure encloses. We can see that uh, the figure encloses two full squares, isn't it? We have mentioned it by one. And how many half filled squares are there? There are four half filled squares, isn't it? So fully filled squares is two means one multiplied by two, two square units. And four half filled squ squares means half into four, that means two square units. And more than half filled squares, we don't have, they are zero. And less than half filled squares also zero. So what will be the area of this figure? Let's find out. We have two full square, uh, squares and four half squares. So it area will be two multiplied by one plus four multiplied by half. That means two plus two. That means four square units. Four square units is the area of this figure. Children, please note it down in your notebook. Let's consider the next problem, problem number F. Here we have this figure which enclo encloses two full squares and four half squares, isn't it? Two full squares means it is two square units and four half squares means half into four, that means two square units. More than half filled squares and less than half filled squares we don't have, so 0 there. So what will be the area? It will be 2 square full squares means 2 multiplied by 1, 2 square units and 4 half squares means 4 into half, that means 2. So 2 plus 2 it is 4 square units. So 4 square units is the area of this figure. Please write it down in your notebook. Now next one, problem G. So here in this figure, we have mentioned the fully filled squared by uh, mentioning it by number, taking number 1. So fully filled squares are 1, 2, 3 and 4, isn't it? And half filled squares, they are mentioned uh, by number 2. So how many half filled squares are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Four. So we have four fully filled squares, uh, squares and half filled squares are also four. So what will be the area of fully fill, uh, filled squares? It will be one multiplied by four that is four square units and half filled squares are four that means half multiplied by four that means two square units. We do not have any more than half filled squares or less than half filled squares. So zero in this place. Now how do we find the area? Children, we have four fully square, uh, uh, full squares means uh, four square units. So four multiplied by one and four half squares means four into half. So four into one is four and four into half becomes two. So how many square units we have? It is four plus two, six square units. So the area of this figure is six square units. Now children, we are going to talk about the home assignment that we are going to, you, are, you have to do on your own, okay? You have to find out the area of following figures by counting squares. Children, we have learned what points have to be kept in mind to uh, find the area by counting squares. 
you have to see the fully filled squares, half filled squares and then you have to calculate the area. We have discussed it thoroughly. So, please uh, complete your home assignment then you will have uh, the practice to understand how to uh, find the area by counting squares. So, here we have question number D and E and also we have F and G we have done. So, you will do the once again I will tell you what is your homework. It is uh, question D and E of exercise 10.2. You have to find the area of these two figures by counting squares and then H and I also you have to find out the area by counting the full squares and the half squares is not it. And you also have the fun activity children you can take a square paper and you draw this camel alright and find out the area of this uh, covered by this figure is not it. So, you will find it fun please draw this color it and find out the area. With this I wind up this session we will discuss more topics in our coming session. Thank you.